<laughs> Alright, what's up guys? So I just got back from the camera store and um, I did another impulse buy and bought this uh, USB microphone by Rode. Now, I've been wanting this for quite a while, so it's not really impulsive, but um, yeah, I kind of like to buy camera equipment if you guys don't know by now. But anyway, so this is the NT-USB mic by Rode. It is like a desktop mic that people use for podcasts or voiceovers. And I really want to get into using it for more voiceovers for my travel videos or for more tech reviews. Uh, oh, by the way, this is tech stuff. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is a very casual one, so yeah, forgive me, I have no script, no nothing. I am literally just going to unbox this right in front of you and uh, give you guys a, a breakdown of what's inside this. So, got my trusty pen knife here, got this camera, got this camera, hi. And uh, you guys will be sort of opening this whole thing up with me. I, um, I've kind of used this mic once before um, when I was in the, working in the university in Australia. Um, we use this to do voiceovers for some of our instructional or tutorial videos. So I kind of know how it sounds like, um, but I wanted one for myself. Alright, so as you can see, it comes with this um, easy plastic wrap. So yeah, everything is nice and pristine. The seal is still on it. So it's not one of those display ones that you find in the shop. Alright. Ooh. Alright, so uh, right on the cover it says it's a versatile studio quality USB microphone. So that's going to be really easy for me. Um, I'm not too much of an audio file, if you know what that means. Um, I don't know how to adjust too much of my audio, but I do know this one records through a USB, which makes it a lot easier for me. Um, it says here that it has a um, pop-up shield and a stand included. I'll show you guys that in a moment. Uh, iPad compatible, that's pretty cool. I'm recording off my lavalier mic onto my iPad right now. Usually I do this to my iPhone, but my iPhone got stolen in Barcelona. Uh, but uh, yes, and it allows you to listen to it through the headphones. Alright, so without any more delays, let's open this box. Ah, it's a bit stubborn. Alright, alright, not bad, not bad. We got a foam covering to cover everything. And a really nice presentation over here. You got the pop-up filter right here, and of course the mic's right underneath that foam. And you have the included microphone stand over here, which is really uh, something interesting for this microphone. I'll get into that in just a bit. But of course the pop stand is the one that um, very few microphones actually come with. I've been doing a bit of research. And, um, oh, sorry, the tag got stuck. Um, yeah, this one comes with its own pop filter, which is this little guy over here that prevents, I guess, like all the spitting and um, very weird noises that you go like that and the you know, when you talk. Um, so it's really nice that it includes it. It's not one of those round ones, so it's pretty custom to this microphone. Um, ooh, really interesting. Alright, there is a tag here, activate your extended warranty now. So I think you get two years extended warranty if you register online. Um, oh, okay. Alright, so the whole stand has a turning knob here that you can take out the whole thing and that's also how you get off this tag. Uh, and there we go, the microphone and the pop stand separately. And right at the bottom, you can see the USB input over here. So that's where the USB uh, wire goes into and then the other one goes to your computer. Alright, I'm just gonna assemble this back, I guess. Um, oh, pop filter first. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna put this all back together um, so that we can use it straight away. And uh, I might cut away to a test that I'll do later on. But uh, this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. I like the design of the pop filter. Um, as you can see, like the stand in the middle over here isn't exactly right in the middle. So you can see both the logos over here. So that's a pretty interesting uh, design feature. Sorry, I'm still a designer at heart. So. You can't blame me for noticing all that. Um, there's nothing else in there. Um, all right, let's take a look at this guy. All right, so this is the included stand. Uh, I heard it, it's a bit wobbly, but uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, so I guess it screws on to this bottom bit over here. And there we go. I'm gonna put the box to the side for a bit and that's not too bad. You got a little knob over here that lets you um, loosen it. Ah, all right, and move it. That was a bit tight. And yeah, that's pretty cool. I, I kind of like it like this. What do you guys think? Is it weird if I use it in front of a camera like that? Uh, maybe if I put it to the side, it's a bit better. 
Um, but yeah, um, I want to improve my audio quality in the way I talk. Um, I'm still a bit robotic when I do voiceovers. Somehow I'm more natural in front of a camera. Uh, so sometimes I leave a camera in front of me just to record voiceovers. But anyway, ooh, there's more stuff inside. I forgot, oh gosh. Okay, so if you remove this cover, there's more stuff inside. Um, all right, I'm gonna put the mic on the corner. Is it still in frame? Yep, it's still in frame. And uh, we're gonna take a look at, ooh, this is a really long USB cable. Check that out. It's, it's huge. Oh my gosh, that's really, really long. So I guess that's the convenience if you're gonna use like a boom arm or if you're gonna use a, some kind of, you know, that arm that holds the mic closer to you, this would be really convenient. So you don't have to stretch that USB cable too far. And I can always run this through the back of my table, keep it organized. And we also have a really nice carrying case over here. I don't know if it's leather or plastic leather. Um, something's inside. Ooh, manuals and stickers. We got stickers, guys. All right, that's going on to my Pelican case. Um, and a big manual here that I will never read. I'll just look at YouTube videos for all that I need. So I guess this carrying case doesn't look like it fits the whole thing. No, I think it's just for the microphone. That's a bit of a shame, but um, anyway, it's a pretty nice case. I'll, maybe I'll put something else inside, just the wires and the mic. I don't know how Road expects me to carry the stand and the pop filter, but uh, let's just see if there's anything else. Um, no, that's it. The whole box is empty. Um, so yeah, I, I will cut away to a test of this one to let you guys hear it. But just an overall view, I think the packaging here is pretty nice. I'm just going to keep the manual inside. Uh, really nice presentation for the packaging. I wasn't expecting that for a microphone unboxing, but uh, this is pretty pleasant. It's one of my first unboxings that I'm doing in front of you guys. Uh, but I hope you guys like it. So right now, we're going to cut away to the audio test that I'll do on my computer. All right, guys. So I've got the USB mic plugged into the computer. I've still got my lavalier mic on me, which is recording to this iPad. So whatever you're hearing now is from the lavalier microphone. And I'm going to quickly switch over to the USB microphone right now. And hopefully you guys can tell a bit of a difference. I think the sound is a bit more deeper and a bit more clearer from what I can hear from my headphones. Um, sorry, I can't look at the camera right now because I have to talk to this mic straight on. If I turn a bit to the side, you notice that you lose a lot of that. Um, the, the audio quality on that. So I have to keep my, my mouth straight onto this thing. So um, anyway, I'm recording it straight to my computer um, on this program called Audacity. Audacity is a free software. You can download it and start recording stuff onto your computer. Well, I, I, I just wanted to do this short clip for you guys to hear the differences between the two audio types. Uh, one from the lavalier mic and one from the USB uh, microphone by Rode. So this is an audio test on the Rode NT-USB microphone. And this is the audio test on the lavalier microphone also by Rode. So hopefully you guys can tell the difference between those two. Um, so far I'm enjoying using this. I can really hear my voice through this. And hopefully you guys can pick up um, the differences between these two microphones. And um, if it works well, I think it will really improve my voiceovers for travel videos or for reviews as well. Um, I really want to improve on that. So yeah, hopefully this was a good purchase. All right guys, so I hope you've enjoyed this whole video. Very impromptu unboxing. Um, I hope I enjoy this mic. Um, I'm gonna give it a test and uh, hopefully you guys get better voice over audios from me in the future. But yeah, the Rode anti-USB microphone. So. Uh, pick it up if you want to. I'll leave some links in the description. And uh, yeah, that's all for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, give it a like if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't. And I will see you guys in the next video.